G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Well, we're on the desktop of Ubuntu 19.04, fresh install. This is uh, the Big Daddy Linux Live Challenge for this week is Ubuntu proper, Ubuntu GNOME or the Ubuntu flagship, uh, whichever one you want to call it, or Ubuntu, Ubuntu GNOME GNOME, I should say. So what we're going to be doing in this video, I'm going to be setting up my desktop to uh, continue running Ubuntu 19.04 for the week. And then we'll have a look at, I've done this a little while ago, but I just thought I'd do a fresh one of 19.04. Uh, so let's uh, get started on that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to enable um, extensions and we have to do that on Firefox. So we'll go, th we'll go through that first. So we need to look for GNOME extensions. And there'll be a little bit of uh, tweaking we have to do with that in Firefox itself before we can download any extensions. So click on this link here and click on Allow. Add that. Integration has been added, um, so we shall sign, uh, restart. Uh, let's just um, let's bookmark that first in Bookmarks toolbar. Restart Firefox, and then we've got this one here. So we'll go to the documentation for that. And we are looking for Ubuntu, Ubuntu Linux, and we shall install this one here. Copy and paste it into your terminal. Put in your password. And that should be it, and we should have the extension support that we need for Firefox. The first uh, extension I want to install is an application menu. So let's do a search for menu. Applications menu. Now I've just got to make sure it's compatible with 3.32. So I think last time it wasn't compatible. It looks like it is. So we'll just... I won't choose the... Um, the version because it should just install hopefully without an error and that looks to be complete so the other thing I would like to install is dash to panel hopefully that's got a 3.32 and I've noticed that uh, they must have made some changes in Ubuntu and I think somebody was saying I'm pretty sure that there was some changes made whereas a lot of the extensions are now keeping up with the with the uh, re interim releases as well as the long-term support releases because they used to it used to be very hard just after a release to get these extensions installed because the compatibility was broken but it looks like that seems to be uh, kept up to date a lot more often now which is good and there's dash to panel and as you can see it's changed instantly now this is the way I like to do you well this is the way I like to use my desktop is pretty much in the same fashion you use Windows 10. I use Windows 10 a lot at work. I'm used to the workflow. I can do this on uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon. I can do the same uh, setup. And when you think about it, a lot of desktops, whether the panel's on the top or the bottom, it's a very similar environment. You've got your menu, top left or bottom left. Um, depends where the panel is or depending upon where the panel is it's a very similar workflow so but the advantages in Ubuntu is because it's got the GNOME GNOME desktop uh, you've got the advantage of hitting the Windows button and you've got the activities overview and also the dynamic 
workspaces, which I find to be quite handy on some occasions. So what we have here is a menu. Well, we have applications there. Let me go to extensions. Uh, we'll go to settings. Not those settings. Uh, we're going to have to install the tweak tool, aren't we? I've forgotten about. So let's do that. We'll go to GNOME GNOME Software Center and we'll do a search for GNOME Tweaks. GNOME Tweaks, install that, put in your password and let's launch Tweaks and go to Extensions. So we've got application extensions, dash to panel, and also we have here in dash to panel, the Windows type show desktop, which I find very handy. Now I don't know why, but nothing's happening with the applications menu there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. So maybe I'll turn it off and turn it back on. See if that makes any difference, but it doesn't seem to. Okay, so maybe that menu's not um, up to speed yet. So I've managed to sneak in a bit of a reboot there, but uh, unfortunately the applications menu is still not working. I've had a look on the extension page itself for applications menu, and I noticed that there's a guy here that says it's Ubuntu 1904 is looks like it's not working with 1904. This guy says it is together with this one here. So I'm going to uh, copy that link and see where that leads me. So we'll paste that in. So this is Activities Configurator. So apparently it's working if we install this. So let's try that and see if that works. Okay, so bit of a message there that won't close. Oh, that's a bit weird. <laughs> okay, so how do we get rid of that message? So now the menu is working, but we have this message. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually turned off the extension and turned it back on and that message has disappeared. Um, I don't really want the hot corner anyway. So, but the global one is still on. I think that's what it was saying. Activities overview hot corner. Do not dis disable, enable hot corners. Okay. So all I'm going to do there is we're going to go to the tweak tool and we are going to extensions and turn that off because I don't want it anyway. So with that installed, the menu is now working, which is my main goal. <laughs> um, so what we have here is um, if you've used the Zorin desktop before, this is a very similar layout to what the Zorin desktop is. So. You've got your menu there. I don't know which ones. Um, you've still got your activities overview, which I like. You've also got your menu here. So some people like to use the menu to go through and see what's installed. And it's actually easier to see what's installed through a menu with, with categories than what it is to go through um, this thing here. So, well, I find it easier anyway. So that was a quick a desktop setup. It doesn't take long to set up the desktop with dash to panel and a simple menu to, in place. And we also, as a bonus, have the show desktop down in the bottom right hand corner. So that completes the setup of the desktop. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching.